Hello there my beautiful friends, it's Raven and welcome to my sacred space. So tonight I just thought I wanted to do a quick deck review for Everyday Tarot by Bridget S. Um, so this is a deck that I have seen um, widely used by other tarot readers um, because it is really pretty. But I wasn't really keen on its um, artwork before because it was just using two colors and I'm more into the vibrant decks. Um, but I decided to give it a shot. It's relatively inexpensive. I think I got it for less than $10. And, you know, why not? I mean, it also has gilding, which I think is really pretty. The thing about other videos that I have seen is that the gilding kind of looks yellowish in videos. Um, or, you know, it doesn't really look that pretty in videos. But trust me, in real life, it is stunning. So, um, I just want to give you a quick look of the box. It came in this box, it, um, it opens like this with a magnetic flap on the side and actually this um, guidebook uh, slides in here. I don't want to, I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> so it slides in there so you have it like this. That is how you receive the deck. Okay, so um, yeah, so this is it. Uh, modern approach to the ancient wisdom of tarot and these are sample images. So. I got this from Amazon, I think $10, maybe less um, or something, so it's, it's a pretty good deal and I think it's a good, um, I think it's a good deck for beginners as well um, to help you memorize with the meanings of the tarot because um, it's not really a pip deck, so that's a, that's a good thing. Plus the size, I really like the size because I do have a small space here and if I use the big ones, you know, I might not have enough space when I do my reading, so I like the size. I'm, I do have a collection of tin and small size decks here. So um, let's get into the guidebook first. So the guidebook is very straightforward. Okay, so just when you open it, just goes with this, um, this very pretty metallic page, um, like the title page. Okay, Bridget Esselmont with illustrations by Eleanor Grosh. Okay, this is by Running Press, Philadelphia. And this is um, published in 2018. All right, so here you have Major Arcana, Minor, and then the Suits, and then that's it. <laughs> that's it. Uh, goes directly to the meaning, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, it has re really nice metallic border. Yeah, it is metallic, or not really super metallic, but it does have like some shimmer. So it, that's a pretty nice touch. And then she goes on, I mean, the book goes on with the actual meaning. So for the Fool, um, just meanings, like... Um, tiny blurbs about it you have both upright and reversed meanings and then you know she goes on to the suit of cups no photos in the in the guidebook but that's fine um it's tiny <laughs> you're not probably not gonna fit everything so another thing that i noticed is for ma major arcanas you just have like the, um the title um for the suits you have like okay swords on the sides okay and then cups wands and then pentacles so you know it's not really that graphic this um, guidebook but i think it gives you what what you need okay if you're trying to learn tarot for the first time this is a good way to start and then it actually has like this separate book that you can buy separate yeah well separate book <laughs> it has this book that you can buy separately if you are looking for more information now onto the actual deck All right this one is kind of like I'm not really a fan of the of the box so yeah I, I think I'm gonna put this somewhere else I'm trying to find a different container for small decks or you know decks that I can pull easily so okay I haven't really bonded with this deck yet um, I haven't really used it that much I, I've been focusing on other tower decks excuse me so um Okay, so the backing, um, it's very, it's, it's, it's matte, um, I like it, it's smooth, okay, um, if you notice, there's some sort of like white smoky effect, so it's not really reversible, but of course the book says it is, I mean, I don't think you can actually remember which side is up or not, or maybe you can, you know, I'm not, I'm not downplaying your intelligence or your memorization skills, but I'm just saying that, you know, it's kind of like 
um, is a challenge to differentiate which one is up and which one is reversed okay but that's the backing so it's a gorgeous purple royal purple with this um, very pretty gold um, kind of like metallic um, paint I think and then yeah and it shimmers look well um, I can see it in with my eyes but here um, there are actually kind of like tiny glitters over there I'm not sure if it's transferring into my hands but okay so here you go so this guidebook just basically talks about the meanings of the cards and it doesn't go into the like the spreads or how to use a tarot but she did include um she did include uh two cards extra cards in the deck which explains that so here you have like what do you need to do for an insightful ta tarot reading and then here you can do the spread so like a daily check-in spread and then very easy you know very easy to understand and then it came in with this soft um um what do you call this foam <laughs> with this soft foam um for the box okay now onto the deck itself Okay, please take my word for it. I'm not sure if it's going to come out really nice in the video, but it is really stunning, okay? It's um, it's not like um, other gilded decks. I mean, let me see what I have here. One second. I just wanted to compare um, the gilding of this one with the Romans Angels that I got off of Amazon. Of course, it's um, Doreen versus Original... Uh, decks are out of print and they sell them for a hundred dollars so i got this off of amazon and this is kind of like the knockoff but i'm i'm not ashamed no shame in that i really wanted this deck so there you go and the difference okay so this i feel like this one is more muted in terms of the shine or the the, the shimmeriness of the cards i don't mind i actually prefer this one i guess over this Oop, only because i like the color Okay, so let me just put this away for a little while. Okay, oops. All right, so these are not going to be in order, but I will go through um, each card for you as kind of like a flip through, I guess, so you can have a look, okay? Let me just put this somewhere else, all right? So um, let's talk about the cardstock first. So the cardstock is great, okay? It's not thin, but it's bendy. Okay, it's, I think it's just the right thickness for a card and especially for this size, you won't have a hard time like holding it, you know, and if you shuffle it, it's easy to shuffle. Let's try. I'm just going to shuffle. Okay, there you go. Right, it's easy to shuffle. Um, it's pretty thick, but it's very manageable. So if you have small hands, I guess this is a good deck for you to get because you know it just fits my hand <laughs> really nicely it's not super tiny like um like my tiny decks let me i always just want to give comparison for people who who are interested to see okay so this is the the libellin or los carabeo tiny or mini deck and yeah that's how it that's how it compares okay it's not tiny at all well, I guess it's, a, it's pocket size, but it's not something that, you know, you would have a hard time shuffling. I mean, the size is pretty good. And then here, I'm going to compare it to my Morgan Greer tarot in a tin. So Morgan Greer is actually taller, but thinner. Okay. All right. So there you go. Okay. I'm sorry I had to cut that. I made a mess from <laughs> my bookshelf. Um, like some decks fell down, so I had to pick them up, okay? <laughs> anyway, um, so this is the backing again, okay? Gilded, it's really pretty color, and then, um, onto the artwork. Now, initially, I thought I wouldn't like this one because it's just two colors, right? It's just gold and purple. And, you know, there's not a lot of depth to the images. Um, you just see silhouettes in white, Okay, okay, white is not a color, okay? I um, just want to put it out there. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, but, you know, like I said, I haven't really bonded with this deck, but I have used it maybe a couple of times, and, you know, it, it, it reads pretty good for me. 
Um, I don't have a problem with this deck. I mean, it's really nice to handle. Um, I guess my concern is that, I guess because of the gilding or something, I don't know. I, I find, kind of find it hard to shuffle it this way because they stick together. But eventually over time, I guess once I've actually used it several times, like ho over and over and over, I'll be able to sh overhand shuffle them easier like without any of them sticking to each other, okay? So with that, I am going to give you a flip through.
Okay, so I'm done with the flip through. I hope you enjoyed that one and I hope you had a good look at the images of each of the cards okay in this deck now one thing that i would like to point out with this deck is that you know you do have the title or of the card here and you have the number there for the major arcana and then for the minor you have like for the court um, court cards you have queen of pentacles and then you have a q for queen and then for the rest you have the roman numeral up there and then the title or the name of the card here so um you see it's very it kind of like has that minimalism effect or kind of like a very simple deck for you to use and start off with i guess if you're a beginner but um i think one thing that you know um is missing for me here of course is color because i do love my colorful decks and um i read intuitively as well so sometimes you know if a color stands out to me in a, in a card then you know each color actually has a symbolism okay so we don't have that here but like I said, it's perfect for beginners. And if you don't mind, if you know, if you really don't read or look into much or look into much into the colors, then it should be fine. You know, I mean, it's a pretty good deck and it's, what, less than $10. So why not get it? You know, you can just carry it with you every everywhere because of its size, it's tiny. And another thing that I would like to point out with this deck is that, you know, um, what do you call that? It does have this Grecian theme or feel to it. Um, where is he? So I think the king of pentacles maybe it kind of look like um kind of look like dionysius i think <laughs> so if um yeah so wait hang on see with the laurels on their heads you know and a, a lot of and a lot of grapes <laughs> or olives you know so it kind of like really reminds me of greek um culture like and the ancient greek culture so you have grapes there okay so it's a very pretty deck it's lovely um it reads well for me at least although i haven't really completely bonded with it it's good um thing about this one is you know it's just i think there are just you can't see the emotions as well um, on the faces of the characters because they're all just silhouettes but i mean if you don't read into the emotions of i mean sometimes you know because when you do a reading sometimes those spaces really kind of catches you something that doesn't really um stands out to you or stand out to you before in a different reading you know sometimes it will for a specific reading and you know you just zoom in on the face or like some of the elements of the deck um but you don't have that here but if you're going for a minimalist deck one that's relatively in inexpensive with gilding and just easy to carry around with you then you know i would recommend that you go for this one it's really really nice and i love it it's it's a, it's a great part of my collection i can't wait to use this more often but i am quite focused on my los carabeo decks right now because i do love them but anyway we're talking about everyday tarot deck so <laughs> there you go that's my full review if you have questions about anything um on this review please let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoy this and um, you learned something, I um, would appreciate if you could kindly give me um, a like or a follow. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye.